Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance, and today we're going to talk about how not to kill your O2 sensor. So the sensor has a range that needs to be operated in as far as temperature goes. So if it's too close to the heat source, it's going to get outside of that temperature range and cause problems. The second thing to understand is that condensation will collect in your exhaust pipe. So it's important that you put the sensor in the upper half of the pipe so the condensation does not collect in the sensor. The inside of the sensor is ceramic. So if you drop it on the ground or hit it with a wrench, you can easily damage it. Things to avoid are dropping it on the ground, hitting the body of the sensor with a tool or wrench or excessive amounts of anti-lag. Fouling the O2 sensor out is your next concern. If you run the engine for extended periods of time with an over-rich fuel condition, you'll clog the sensor up, rendering it useless. If your engine has lost a head gasket or coolant has gone past the sensor during operation, chances are it's damaged. And lastly, because the sensor is internally heated, you want to be mindful that if you have the sensor powered, even with the engine off, the body of the sensor does get hot enough to burn your fingers. Hopefully these few things will help you get more longevity out of your wideband sensor. Thanks for tuning in to the Tech Tip videos. You can follow us on Facebook or subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you next week.